welcome back. In today's video, I am showing you some vintage inspired outfits from Dorothy Dandridge and Audrey Hepburn. Both of them just had such amazing style. I think that Dorothy's style was just impeccable. It was just like a beautiful, soft glam. And then Audrey is, of course, a style icon of the 1950s and really that whole time period in which this lookbook is inspired from. Just like in my modest clothing haul that I did, these pieces are mostly from affordable Amazon brands. Let me know which outfit was your favorite in the comments below and please give this video a thumbs up if you would like to see like more vintage inspired outfits. Okay, so the first look is inspired head to toe from Audrey. She's wearing this beautiful blush skirt, which immediately caught my attention because it's just really feminine and modest. And then she's paired it with a classic white button down. I really liked what she did with the button down by having it knotted in the front. I think this shows you that depending on the way you style your pieces can really make a difference. Like it would have been more of a preppy look if I would have just tucked in the shirt or even something different by like wrapping the shirt. But instead the bow creates a really nice feminine and romantic vibe. She's finished it off with simple accessories, this cute little straw hat. I really didn't have a straw hat that I wanted to put on because my hair was in a bun and I didn't want to like change it. So instead I'm just holding a, a straw hat and then I also wore it with pink flats. I couldn't tell in the picture if her flats were pink or just like a really nude color. Um, either way, I really think it complemented the color of the skirt. So I went ahead and went for some blush flats, which I had. Overall, I just love how feminine and honestly, this look is kind of casual, very relaxed, but it's still also quite modest. Outfit number two is kind of inspired by both Audrey and Dorothy. I feel like both of them wore the gingham print quite a lot and you see them photographed in either like a check print or a gingham print um, when you look back at pictures. Now I personally really think that this print may have just been a trend during that time and that's why they wore quite a lot of it but now it's really associated with like that retro style and also with more of a timeless classic feel. I've gone for this cute little gingham top with a bow in the front it even has like that retro style neckline but I actually went and tucked the bow in because I want the centerpiece or I guess the focus to actually be on the bow on the skirt. This skirt is also from Amazon and it is more of a like thin uh, a lightweight fabric so I think that this would be more appropriate for warmer weather or even like in the summertime. I also love the color of it. It looks really neutral and just like a really natural color. It's almost like a burnt orange but on the more brown side. And then I finished off the outfit with more modern accessories. I've got my pointy toe flats and then a simple structured bag. I love this outfit. I think that it takes all those little pieces of retro style like the cinch at the waist with the skirt, the fact that the skirt is like a midi length and it's flowy, and then of course the gingham print, but it really puts a more modern twist on it with my accessories and also sticking to a more neutral color palette. Outfit number three is inspired by a style that Dorothy wore quite a lot. In fact, I feel like this is definitely something that she's more known for when it comes to just looking at her style. And it's a beautiful off-the-shoulder neckline. She wore a lot of this, and you're going to see on the screen, I'm going to insert a lot of pictures that she had. So I went for this dress from the brand Bella Poke. Most of the pieces in this video is from that brand. But I really love the off-the-shoulder detail of this dress. Usually when I'm dressing up, if I'm going to wear an Anything really dressy I'm never gonna wear anything too short or like where it's like a plunging neckline but I will wear a simple off the shoulder top or dress I feel like it's just like really classy and I love that this was definitely like a staple in Dorothy's wardrobe because it, it was really becoming on her this dress is even like themed or like the name of the dress was like retro 1950s style so it definitely just the style in general kind of nods to that time period I've just worn it with simple pearl earrings. I've noticed that in a lot of Dorothy's pictures when she's wearing an off the shoulder top, she's actually not wearing a necklace. I really like that minimal look, so I decided to do the same thing. I ditched my necklace and I just went ahead and wore, like I said, some simple pearl earrings. Obviously pearls are a really timeless and nice accessory to add into your wardrobe and I finished it off with black heels. I really like how this look is glamorous yet simple. There's not a lot going on. This dress did come in a lot of colors but of course I went with the classic black and I just want the off the shoulder top in the shape of the dress to speak for itself and it keeps it really clean and minimal. 
The outfit number four is a look with some trousers. Both Dorothy and Audrey wore a lot of like the um, kind of, I guess, cigarette style trousers. I really like how smart this look and then they sometimes paired it with more feminine tops or just the way they wore their tops was a little bit more on the romantic side. So for example, they could either wear a boat neck or just like a button down shirt that was like buttoned loose and maybe like had a knot or bow in the front. I've worn mine with a boat neck top that I had from H&M. These were featured in an H&M haul I did like a while back and I really like these. These are such a basic for me. I think that boat necks are just so beautiful and the fact that they are or were popular in that time period tells me that they're such a timeless piece. It really alludes to femininity and also modesty. So I have this top and I've just worn it in black. This is definitely like a more monochrome look because then I've just finished everything off with black accessories once again and of course those pro earrings. I do think that this is a classic and simple outfit, but the shape of the pants and the boat neck top do add something interesting to the outfit. So that completes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know which outfit was your favorite in the comments below. I have all the details linked as well, and hopefully you can subscribe for more fashion content so I can see you all next week.